Hello, my name's Kerry Miller and I live in Oxfordshire in the very beautiful south of England. My particular style of art takes the form of a book sculpture. This one's called Audubon's Birds of North America. For those of you who haven't come across this genre before, I'll give a brief explanation of what it's about. According to Google, there are currently around 13 billion books on the planet, but a lot of these are just surplus to the world's requirements and are simply being discarded or just forgotten. As a lifelong bibliophile, I spent years exploring ways of using old books in my artwork with the aim of giving them new purpose and showcasing their inner beauty. I've been working in collage and mixed media for more years than I care to remember, so using books in my work was actually quite a natural progression. So it may seem counterintuitive, but in order to breathe new life into a book, I first have to deconstruct it. This involves removing the images that I want to use and carving out the centre of the book to produce a void. And the example you can see in the picture is one I'm working on currently. The images, which only come from the book itself, are then cut and shaped and taken through a series of strengthening processes which I've devised over the years. Now, doing this enables me to produce a robust sculpture, with each piece having a smooth and even appearance. The images are then ready to be reintroduced back into their former home. I return them one by one, gradually filling the uninhabited space within the book, layering and manipulating until the piece starts to take on a life of its own. I like to leave a little bit of the text visible in the finished piece, just to remind the viewer that they're actually looking at a book. My work is intended to be more than just a reincarnation of the book's former life. I believe that the books I use have been lost in time, and that this gives me the opportunity to reveal them to the world once more, but in a very different form, and hopefully to a wider audience. Thank you for listening.